Welcome back to the Newbie's Guide to Audio Recording Awesomeness 2 Pro Recording with Reaper. Today's lesson is on working with video in Reaper. You can open a video file in Reaper and do some editing on it. The main issue is that you can't do much editing to the video itself. You can do a little, like trim it and cut it a little bit, but the whole point of Reaper is audio. So what you can do is work on the audio and edit that. You can either replace the entire audio track with another audio track. You can add other audio tracks to your video, music or other dialogue, or you can cut some stuff out. And once you've completed doing that, you can trim it up and export the new video out of Reaper, having the new audio and with it all trimmed up and everything. And I'll show you how you can do that. But first, what we need to do is get an encoder that is not part of Reaper, but it is free and it's recommended by Reaper. In fact, it's from their wiki. So we need to go to a site that is the Kakos Wiki, Kakos is the company that makes Reaper, Kakos Wiki video support site. Here's the URL for that right here. And what you're going to do is download the encoder. It's going to be the same thing from either of these two links here. I'm going to click on this top one. And since I have a 64-bit version of Reaper running, I am going to click on this link right here and download it to the folder I usually download things to, which is the downloads folder. Just make sure you take note of where you download it to. And once you do that, you can see here it's a zip file. You should go to your downloads folder and find it. Here it is. In Windows, uh, it's easy just to extract it by going to extract all and then it will extract it into a folder of the same name as the zip file. So in this case, it extracted it to a folder called FF, MPEG, etc., all this other stuff and that looks something like this. These are the files that are inside. Now according to the Kakos site, they give instructions on what to do once you get it extracted and they say to copy these files, these four files, into the main Reaper folder on your computer. I found that the numbers were slightly different on the latest download. For example, here it says AV codec 52, AV format 52, you can see here that what came into my extracted folder was 54 and not 52. But the 54 uh, worked just fine, and then the util was actually a 51. So um, don't worry about the change in numbers. Just look at the name of the file and ignore the number. But anyway, once you get these files, you're going to want to navigate your way to your Reaper program file. In my case, it's C, Program Files, Reaper, and there's an X64 because I have the 64-bit version. And then you just drag, here's av codec 54, drag those four files into the Reaper folder, these four right here. And that's all you need to do. Now it's time to import the video into Reaper. To do that, it is as easy as going to the Insert drop-down menu, click on Media File, find the video that you want to import and you'll notice that it imports just the audio file that's because Reaper is an audio program it doesn't give you a video track like something like Vegas would or other video editing programs to actually see the video just come up here to the view drop down menu and all the way down here where it says video window just open that and that will open down here Hey, this is Ken from Homebrew Audio. And there's my mug. And what you're hearing now is the audio that was recorded from the camcorder. Listen to a little more of it. Hey, this is Ken from Homebrew Audio. And I am making this video to show you how you can use Reaper, an audio program, to edit video. You can, you can import video into Reaper, then you can edit the audio, usually replacing the crappy audio that comes out of the camcorder with something that you've recorded at the same time into something like this, which is a Shure SM81 microphone, and that's recording into Reaper right now as we speak. Okay, so you'll notice that that gives you the same sort of 
echoey, noisy audio that camcorders are renowned for. What we want to do is replace that audio with something better, the stuff that was recorded through the Shure SM81. So let's make another track. Just double click here and uh, let's rewind to the start. Go to Insert Media File and you navigate your way to where you recorded that audio and just double click it. Let's click the solo button and make sure it's the right audio. Video to show you how you can use Reaper and audio. Pro yeah, so that's the, the right audio, the good sounding audio for this video. Let's unsolo this for a minute and notice that these audio blobs are not lined up. So if you try to play them together, it would be horrible. Let's listen. Let me turn this one down because you can see it's much louder. Hey, this is Ken from Homebrew Audio, and I am making this video. So as you can hear, the audio is all happening at the wrong time. So what we need to do is synchronize it, sync it up. We need to sync the good audio up with the bad audio. So let's double click this and bring it back to default zero volume there. Let's zoom in and we want these blobs to line up with these blobs. So let's make sure that we disable snap enabled here. Click on the little magnet that allows us to drag this with some more fine control. So let's drag the end of that over to give us some room. And now click and hold with the left mouse button on the good audio and let's drag it to where it's really close but we really need to zoom in so you can see it's not quite lined up. Just make sure that these blobs are lined up together. Let's take a listen now. Hey, this is Ken from Homebrew Audio. That's pretty darn close. All you really have to do is get close. I would maybe drag that a tad more to the left. Hey, this is Ken from Homebrew Audio, and I am making... Okay, now all you have to do is turn the volume down on the bad video. And one way you can do that is to come to the top of the swim lane over here till you get the double headed arrow. Click and drag that all the way down to where it says item volume and it shows it at negative 150 dB. That'll effectively turn the audio off. And of course the alternative way to do that would just be to come over here to the volume slider and drag it all the way to the left. So that will make the bad audio go away and leave you with the good audio. Let's go back to the beginning. Hey, this is Ken from Homebrew Audio, and I am making this video to show you how you can... See how that is so much better? Actually, hear how that is so much better? Okay, one thing though, if you watch the video at the beginning, there was a mess up, and so I stopped and waited and started again. We can get rid of that, so let's see, where was that? To edit video, you can... Right there. You can... So, what I want to do is cut out that section right there. So come down below both of these audio items, select what you want to cut, left mouse click on the top audio item, hold shift down, and click on the bottom audio item. And now you need to cut this section out of both items here. In order to cut the video, you have to cut the audio. So with these both selected, hit shift S and that puts slices on the edges of the selection in both audios. Then just delete that one, delete that one, drag the top one over, drag the bottom one over, then make sure that they're lined up again. That's pretty good. Let's turn that back down and let's see what our edit looks like. To edit video. You can import video into Reaper. See that edited both the audio and the video. And you'll notice also at the beginning of the video, there's a little bit of just standing around, so I want to trim that. So let me drag that over. And in order to get rid of this space, what we want to do is select everything. So just right mouse click and drag on all four. We've got four now because we made a split here. We've got one, two, three, four. So in order to choose them all, go to the top left one, hold the right mouse button down, and then drag it down into the right until you've encompassed bits of all four audio items and let go. And you'll see now that everything is selected. Now that that's the case, you can drag one or the other and they'll all move. And let's have everything go to the left. 
There we go. Now we can get rid of the standing around bit. Hey, this is Ken. So we want it to start right away. Also, you'll notice that the breath comes in a little abruptly. So let us go to the top corner here, get this shape in the icon, which is the fade icon. Click with the left mouse button and drag that in so that the breath doesn't sound so sudden. Hey, this is Ken. It's much better. Okay. Now it's time to export or render our video out. But first, we're going to check on something. Let's go to Options in the View window, and let's see what the video item properties are now. You can see that the original size here is 1920 by 1080. Keep that in mind or write it down. And that the frames per second was 29.97 frames per second. So just sort of keep that in mind, because if we want to render it out with the same settings, we can do that. Okay, so go ahead and click Cancel there. And now let's go to File, Render. And first, let's give it a, a name. I'm going to call this Reaper Video Render. Then, of course, you have to tell Reaper where you want it rendered to, and that folder is just fine. Then, under Output Format, we need to choose a video format. So, let's come down here to where it says Video FF MPEG Encoder. Now, we're given some choices. Under Format, Let's say we want to put this on the internet. This is a common format for uploading to the internet. And go to this little arrow here to pick the size in the frames per second. Now, the original size was this Full HD 1920 by 1080. That's why we looked at the options. Let's uh, go one down and do 1280 by 720. And also, remember the frame rate? We had it at 29.97. So let's just leave that. Leave the video codec H.264, and we'll leave the audio codec at AAC, but your choice is there for audio or MP3, or 16-bit wave, 24-bit wave, whatever. But let's just say render one file, and because it's video, it'll take a little while. So I'll see you in just a sec. Okay, that took a little while, but now we're back. Let's see how it turned out. There it is. Hey, this is Ken from Homebrew Audio, and I am making this video to show you how you can use Reaper, an audio program, to edit video. You can import video in... So I think you'll agree that that sounds a heck of a lot better. Plus, I was able to edit out a mistake and trim up the beginning. I didn't actually go through the process of trimming up the end, but of course you would do that too. And that is how you edit video using Reaper. I hope you found that helpful.